So there are only about 200 chalk rivers in the whole of the world, southern England being home to about 75% of those, making them a very rare habitat which we need to preserve. Many of our chalk rivers are under threat from habitat destruction, pollution and over-abstraction. Because of this, it's vital that we monitor our chalk streams in order to protect their unique ecology and special status. River flow monitoring is a really good way to monitor the health of our rivers. The way that we carry out river fly monitoring is by doing a kick sample to get a representation of the invertebrate life in that stretch of river. So this is when I'm looking for eight different indicator species that tell us whether the river is healthy or not, depending on their presence and the abundance in their numbers in the sample. So these have been chosen because different species don't tolerate different types of pollution in the river. So these relatively easy eight species to identify are a really good way of us knowing whether the river has pollution or not. Today we found six of the eight indicator species. We found freshwater shrimp, cased caddis, caseless caddis, olives, blue winged olives, and flat bodies. With training, we can train up members of the community to effectively carry out river fly monitoring and look after their own local stretches of the river. We've got 63 sites on the Kennet and its tributaries being monitored by just over 40 river fly monitors on a monthly basis. We had a really bad pesticide pollution in 2013. The river looked absolutely beautiful, but when our monitors were in, that was how we detected that there was a really catastrophic pollution incident in the river that had wiped out a significant amount of invertebrate life for many miles of the River Kennet. It was our trained monitors that noticed this, and through that we were able to alert the Environment Agency to react to this incident. So the results come in from our monitors on a monthly basis and we analyse these and then they are shared with the Riverfly Partnership and the Environment Agency. So the results can be compared with our historic data on each site and on the river and with other rivers as well. If you'd like to get involved, this is going on all over the country, so visit the Riverfly Partnership website.